my project is randomly shaped planets are generated and uh, a user can walk around these and fly around these with a flight simulator and move between planets. This is an environment as produced for a video game. The department at Swansea is fantastic. They've given me specialist equipment to develop high quality video games and I've had great fun doing teamwork projects with my colleagues. My plans for the future are to do a master's in computer science and then go out into the world and join the software development industry. My project is about taking circuit diagrams and trying to teach kids how to write them and how to draw them using augmented reality. We took a circuitry diagram, which is basically a simple drawing of what a circuit looks like with a light bulb, a switch and a battery in it. And we do augmented reality on top of that, showing where the light is, where the switch is, and where the battery is with visual markers. The user can then take their hand, put it over the switch, and the light comes on. While at university, this course has enabled me to take part in two societies, the Computer Society and the Gaming Society. These have given me new experiences which have helped me with completing my course. My project looks at the entertainment value of football matches and how that relates to the statistics in those matches. It gets users to enter ratings for matches that have been played in the past, and uses those in a machine learning system that then learns what factors make an exciting match and what factors make a dull match. The course at Swansea has been a great foundation for going into work. We learn a lot of software engineering techniques and things that are applicable in the real world. After university, I'm actually going to work in Newport at the Alacrity Foundation, which is a foundation founded by Terry Matthews. And what it does is it sponsors startups to encourage them to follow their own ideas or ideas brought to them by businesses. Coming from London, I'm used to just going about my business. In Swansea, you can say good morning, good afternoon. People will say hi back. It's really friendly and really approachable as a city. I've been working on a web-based application that digitizes a paper-based profile. This profile is used to detect adverse drug reaction in different patients due to mental health medication. At Swansea University, I had the opportunity to do a six-week summer placement with a company called Kanos, and this actually enabled me to develop my own app and this just gave me great career prospects and an insight into what it would be like working within industry, which is what I've decided I want to do. Through studying my individual project, this made me realise that I do want to continue with further studies, and I'll be looking at doing a master's project in the future. So our project was building a rock climbing guidebook application. Modern climbing is mostly done still with paper guidebooks, which are outdated, you can't update the information in them, it's not the best form of doing it. So we took data from the South Wales Mountaineering Club and built it into a guidebook application. In my year six guidebook, when I was 11, I wrote that I wanted to come to Swansea University. And many years later, I'm finally approaching my graduation at Swansea, which has enabled me to climb on the Gower, go surfing, go mountain biking all over. And studying computer science has let me embrace those interests and build a project for my dissertation that uses the things I'm most interested in. The tech industry in Swansea is booming at the moment. There's a huge amount of investment coming and companies are moving from Bristol and London to Swansea. I've had experience working for a local industry through a spin placement through the university and I have had four job offers and will be starting working for a local tech startup that's growing rapidly shortly. I work as an analyst for HUR Limited, which is based in Cardiff. We specialise in assisting pharmaceutical companies bringing newly licensed drugs to market. It's important for us as a company to strike up the relationships between us and the computer science department here. So we use a pipeline of talent coming out of the university for the business going forward. But also to keep on top of new emerging trends and technologies to help us as a company keep ahead in a very competitive market. I like to make electronic music and to make music for myself and for my projects. So I thought it would be nice to build something for this purpose with easy to use interface and a wide variety of sounds that it could output. I think one of the most important things is the fact that I've met a lot of different interesting people from different backgrounds and create a network of not only friends but also people that I, could, I would like to collaborate in the future for work or projects in general. I really enjoyed studying at Swansea University, so much so that I decided to stay for another year. So I'm doing a Master in Engineering in Computing. My project is an augmented reality sandbox, so what that means is we capture in-depth information using the Kinect, transforming that into a topographic map and projecting straight back onto the sandbox. You can use it in education or game development to make uh, game levels really quickly. When I started the course, I only had a little bit of experience in Java, but now I'm well versed in five languages and that would enable me to develop a wide variety of programs. The skills I've acquired across the three years have allowed me to start searching for jobs in specialised technology companies. I talk to Steel, technology is paramount to the future of, of the business. We see ourselves 
look into the universities to find these individuals who are self-motivated, innovative, people who can bring new ideas to the table and help us evolve what we currently got and take it into the, the next generation. For the business to succeed in this competitive climate, it's critical to make these relationships with the universities and make sure we've got this constant stream of very qualified, very skilled individuals to, to take that forward.